Yep, that is the plan, ladies and gentlemen. I am pledged to the plan, and the plan is the pledge. And I pledge the plan to to do what I pledge to do. And that is to, to, to jump back into the universe to go where no man has ever gone before. I like to say that because I like the hubris of the statement because it's bound to be an incredible letdown for all of you and I love you and I would rather that you experience this letdown right now rather than anything that would be far more lasting. So let this be your lulls letdown or you may in the end decide, no, bro, it's cool. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. So here we go. This is the news poem segment. There he is. King King. I'm just call him King King because that is King King. At least I hope he is. I think that that's the right King King. If I'm wrong, I, I, I apologize to, to, to his family, to his friends, to his relatives, to his dog. If he has a dog. If he doesn't have a dog, he probably has some sort of dog somewhere maybe so i'll just apologize just in case cats don't care they don't care they have no care of what i think the king has fled the plague with his retinue of concubines this is the news poem so first you now it, it has been alleged credibly credibly well, credibly sure why not that the founder of the House of Saud, the current owners of what is now called Saudi Arabia, which literally means the family Saud's Arabia, the family Saud's Arabia, literally what it means. Ibn al-Saud once employed 80% of his kingdom's doctors to do one thing and one thing only. That's it. Make sure his, his member remained intact and functioning in the fullest sense of those terms. Let me say it more plainly. Dude forced like most of his country's doctors to become his penis physicians. I apologize for the sensitive ears. I did use the word. I chose very carefully to use that word instead of another word. I tell you that story because of this latest example of the sexual excess and hubris over those who are placed in the positions where they're treated something not unlike their demigods dominating the people in the land that are all there to reinforce their own demigod status and needs. So Thailand's king has decided the best place to be when his people are dealing with the ongoing threat from coronavirus is to hightail it out of there to Germany with his retinue of uh, of, of uh, penis relievers in tow, his 20 concubines. Now, this move is not unsimilar to what I imagine Ibn al-Sad would make such, such should, should he have found himself in a similar position. Old Ibn would be, be either right in front of him or right behind him. You can guarantee that. Now, now in this case, uh, this, this king dude, well, I'll, I'll give you the details here. I give you the deets here. So, news first, poem follows. From Express UK. Thailand's king flees coronavirus lockdown with 20 concubines to hide out in German resort. Excerpt. King Mahu Vajirang... Man, I, sh I should have researched, man. King Maha Vajiralongkorn. Vajiralongkorn. King Maha Vajiralongkorn. 67, reportedly booked the entire Grand Hotel Sanabichi with special permission to break the lockdown in the Alpine resort town of, of Garmisch-Partenkirchen. 
Wow, this is so much fun to read. I love it. He is isolating in the resort with 20 concubines and a large team of servants. German tab tabloid Bild set has set. The royal party was deemed a homogenous group that does not change composition. Meaning, the hotel could be reclassified as a residential home for the duration of the stay. You know, because money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, never mind, you know, like... Wait, I thought Germans were woke, right? I thought the German government was woke. How is the German government, a woke government, allowing this sexist, this, this male chauvinist pig, this patriarchal demon... To, to, to have this exemption. Why are the Germans giving sanctuary to, to, to a misogynist? I mean, somebody's got to say it, please. Just saying. I mean, I have a point, right? I do. Y'all know I do. The royal party was deemed... Oh, oh, all right. I already read that. All right. Now, there we go. All right. This is, this is the part now, folks. Center in, center in, everybody, gather around, don't get the kids. Get, as a matter of fact, if you have kids, unless they're under the age of 90, keep them far away. All right? All right, here goes the news poem. The king has fled the plague with his retinue of concubines. In the early 21st century, during the era of Coronaville, the king of Thailand ran off with his salt and honey to a distant safe land while his people died. Because they could not suffer the calm. Because I could not bore myself to death. Because I was immune to the quiet. Because the gold in my mouth tasted salty. Because the people are filled with dirty air now. Because I am loved and I cannot die. Because the earth loves my body and needs me to fill it. Because I must be. Because I must possess the salt and the honey of the land from the safety of gilded safe rooms. Because I was never told by anyone that lived. Because I was never told no by anyone that lived. As a matter of fact, both are true. Because they live through me and I must live in power and power is possession and possession is sex. Because I can, because I can. Because if you were him, you'd be on that plane to Germany. King, king, with your retinue of please fill me. Mercy protected you from such self-consumptions. Not your lack of privilege to be so demigodded. That you would traverse the planet in search of gold cages where you are kept in. But the reality of loss is kept out. Left to the people who equip you, who fund you, who empower you with their worship and their blood. Because I am the king. Because I must. Because you can't do a thing about it. Peasant.